Merging real life with fantasy life is one of my favorite things, and measuring the insignificance of contemporary tensions against the Egyptian idea of eternity comforts me. That's Rick Owens talking about his 2023 fall winter collection Luxor, and today I'm going to be unboxing four pieces of jewelry from that collection, two trunk rings and then two trunk necklaces. So first up we have the trunk ring in black, beautiful quality box, very minimalistic with the Rick Owens logo on the front. In the box we have a small dust bag as well as a small piece of literature. It looks like it's instructions on how to care for the rings slash necklaces. And when it comes to the dust bag itself, it's really soft, just like luxurious feeling, I guess, probably cotton. Let's get into the ring itself. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous and it feels really substantial. So all four of these pieces I'm showing you today were all made of brass. Pretty minimalistic design overall, which I love. And there's a very simple Rick Owens logo slash signature on the back there. But first impressions, very minimalistic, beautiful design, pretty heavy feeling. This is size 58 European, which is the equivalent of a US 9.5. And the finger that I'm hoping to put this on is my ring finger. And yes, that looks awesome. <laughs> it feels awesome and it fits like a glove. It's maybe like a little bit big for my ring finger, but I love how substantial this feels. It feels awesome on my finger. And I like that the ring has other possibilities in terms of styling, like you could wear it down so it's facing towards your fingernails or you can place it kind of backwards on your finger and do this kind of action, which also looks pretty cool. So when I saw this online, my concern was that you wouldn't be able to like make a fist or grab onto things and there's no problems with that. Like it definitely feels like a heavy piece of jewelry on your finger, but you can totally make a fist really easily. As you can see, you can splay your fingers out, no problem. Or if you wore it the other way, you can easily make a fist, splay your fingers out, not a problem. It does restrict the movement a little bit if you wear it like this. It touches the area like right next to the knuckle right here. But yeah, I love the geometry of this shape and the black brass I think looks really, really nice. It is pretty heavy, so it feels like it kind of weighs one of my fingers down for sure. But I don't know, it's not supposed to be subtle or light. It feels like it's supposed to be this heavyweight, substantial kind of burden on your finger. And I definitely get that sense of like brutality. It almost feels like a weapon or something. And I like that it looks kind of aggressive and a little bit intimidating. And it goes with the style of Rick Owens that we're all pretty familiar with at this point. This like minimalist elegance and darkness, I can definitely sense that from this piece. So it feels like an iconic, very easily recognizable Rick piece. You know, wearing stuff like this 2017 Walrus Rick shirt with this jewelry, I think looks awesome. And next up we have the silver trunk ring. So a very similar unboxing experience. And I like how small these dust bags are too. All right, so this is the silver slash palladio or palladium colorway of the trunk ring. The design is basically the same as the black one where we have a minimalistic trunk on the front with that geometric, you know, kind of bump on there. And if you flip it around, there's the Rick logo right here etched into it. So I ordered this ring in a size 54, which is the US equivalent of 7.5. And I did read that these trunk rings run a little bit small, maybe by about a size which is why I ordered like kind of a size up. Let's see if it fits on my ring finger. No, it's a little tight on there actually. So you can see the difference between the black and the silver. You know, I actually think I may like the black one a little better. I don't know, I like both of them. I think they're beautiful. Let me know which one you like more in the comments. And if the size of the ring doesn't fit all the way onto your finger, you could do like a half finger kind of thing. This actually fits on my index finger where it covers just the tip of the finger and makes you look kind of like a cyborg or something. That's actually really cool too. Although having this ring on the tip of my finger, I would be kind of concerned that it would just easily fall off. So you can do like one of each where one's facing this way and the other one's facing this way. Kind of a cool aesthetic as well. So the rings, awesome quality, love them, beautiful. And moving on to the necklaces. This one is the black trunk charm. So let's go ahead and open this up. In there we have another care sheet. And then we have the dust bag, which feels like the same dust bag as the other ones. All right, so let's get in the dust bag and get the black charm. 
So here we have the black trunk necklace. So a similar design to the ring, but it's just a thin piece of brass and it has that same kind of geometric design as the ring. And it comes with this black chain, which is also brass with a length of 27.5 inches. So here's a size comparison of the trunk necklace versus the trunk ring. It looks like the trunk necklace is a little bit longer than the ring but the thickness I would say is about the same. The necklace feels thick and substantial, but also light and delicate somehow. And then the logo is etched on the back. So this is just gorgeous, really small, really delicate. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on so we can see what it actually looks like. So immediately I feel like the trunk necklace has added a nice minimalistic touch, but a little bit of hardness, or as Rick described it, a brutality. I like that it kind of disappears a little bit in the all black fit that I'm wearing now, but it also adds that just like little bit of elegance. An all white outfit with the black necklace, I think would also be amazing. I also like the idea of pairing the black ring with the black necklace, so you have matching Rick Owens vibes on you. So the necklace, when you hold it, it feels a little heavy. It feels substantial, but also on the neck, it feels nice and lightweight. So if you're worried about this necklace, the trunk necklace being heavy, kind of weighing your neck down, not a problem. It feels like a normal size necklace. The brass feels fine against the skin, and I like that the necklace itself is a very thin chained necklace. So yeah, this black trunk necklace is gorgeous. 100% would recommend. And let's unbox the final piece, the open trunk charm necklace in the colorway Palladio. Same exact box as the other ones with the same dust bag as well. We also have the care instructions in these. And let's get the open trunk necklace out of here. This kind of looks like a tooth or a razor blade or something. This one has a little bit of more aggressive vibes to me because it does have that open section there versus the normal trunk shape, which is closed. So it has a different vibe and I think it draws slightly more attention to it while still keeping that minimalistic kind of brutal geometric architectural kind of design. Just like the black necklace, the chain itself is also brass. And then on the back, we have the etched Rick Owens logo. Minimal, beautiful. So here's what the necklaces look like side by side. We have the black black over here, and then the open trunk in the Palladio color. They're both beautiful, they both have different vibes, and I could see myself wearing both of these. So now time to put on the silver open trunk necklace, which also looks awesome. And especially while wearing these rings, you know, come on, I think it looks really, really cool together. I love both the black and the silver necklace, so I think I'm going to be keeping both of them. I even like the combination of like the black ring with the silver necklace, or just wear all of them at the same time because that would be a cool look as well. So the only cons that I could think about these pieces is mostly with the black ones, actually. The black ring is already showing a little bit of like degradation but on these corners, these little tips right here on the front, it's a little hard to see, but there's already a little bit of degradation happening, I guess, from just scratching, or maybe I did that, I'm not sure. So it already looks like the black is kind of starting to chip away a little bit, but it's not necessarily a deal breaker, especially if you don't mind like the natural degradation of stuff. I think it's even part of the Rick Owens ethos within the brand and within his aesthetic is like, wear your stuff, it's going to degrade. It's going to look cool as it degrades. It might even accumulate more aesthetic value. If you're into having your jewelry just look pristine and not distressed, then I would say maybe don't get the black one because it is going to scratch. But that actually might look really cool instead of the pristine untouched version. It's more like it degrades over time with you. You have experiences with it and it becomes more part of the story of your wardrobe and of your life. I don't think you're gonna have the same issue with the silver Palladio version of the ring or the necklace. Like as you use it, it'll probably get a little scratched, but it's not really gonna change much color. It's gonna stay this kind of silver sheen. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about these pieces. Do you have the trunk necklace or ring? Which one do you prefer, the open trunk or the trunk? And if you watched all the way to the end, leave a pizza emoji in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.